Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity and we are trying to solve a problem which is in the FRM examination or the CFA examination. This is related to the quantitative and it is related to the simple quantitative probability distribution. Okay. Uh, here if you see that the problem relates to continuous uniform distribution but there are lots of data given. So there is a continuous uniform distribution and the random variables they are in the range of 10 to 30. So what is a continuous uniform distribution? The continuous uniform distribution looks like this. So it is from 10 to 30 okay, and it will look like this. Okay. So it is from 10 to 30 and any value the probability of any number less than 10 will be 0. The probability of any number greater than 30 will also be 0. Now this is and also for a cumulative continuous uniform distribution or for that matter any distribution the probability will be given by this area and this area the probability will be equal to 1. Right? So this is your continuous uniform distribution. Now many times the continuous uniform distributions are, are represented by their cumulative probability. So their cumulative probability is what they we mentioned and we represent this f as f of x if I say it is it means that what is the probability cumulative probability that the number will be that a random variable will be less than or equal to x. So f of x denotes that probability that the random variable is less than or equal to x. So this is the denotion of fx. So this is like just I am giving you the idea. Here let's see the question. It has a range from 10 to 30 and it has been observed that the number 20 is, is occurring much more as compared to any other number. So it is you are observing that when you are trying to do this random sequencing you feel you find that okay 20 is uh, occurring much more than any other number. Now you need to know that what is the impact of this uh, 20 which is occurring much more. So they are asking you to find out which of the following statement is most likely correct. Okay. Now, so that means if you see over here, it so happens that if this is the 20 number, the middle one, the occurrence of 20 is much more than what uh, you are seeing the occurrence of others. Please note that it does not give you any idea as to the occurrence of as to how the distribution will look like because they have already given you in the start that it is a continuous uniform distribution. So if you think that it is because that okay the one number is occurring much more that means it's a skewed distribution no you are wrong so what i can say is the distribution is most likely skewed is a wrong proposition similarly many of you think that okay if it is occurring at 20 so that means 20 it is more peaked so it will be a leptocurtic distribution again that would be a wrong proposition over here so such type of question i advise you when they are saying that most likely correct try to eliminate and then see whichever is more likely to be the answer okay now they are saying that the probability of occurrence of the number between 12 and 15. So if I try to find out what is the probability of occurrence between number 12 and 15. So if you see this is your distribution from 10 to 30. What is the probability of occurrence between 12 to 15? So the probability of occurrence of 12 to 15 would be given by this. So this is 12 and this is 15 and the probability of occurrence of 22 to 55 will be 20, sorry 22 to 25 will be given by this area. So your area is the probability. Okay. Now what I can say is I can say that the probability of this area is equal to 1. I can say that the area is the area of this rectangle. Let's say this is some value w. So I can say that w into this 30 minus 10 the difference is 20 w into 20 is equal to 1 so I can say so this implies I can say that the value of w is 1 by 20 so this value of w is 1 by 20 so I can say that this area will be the distance is 3 1 by 20 so the probability that so the probability that area would be 
that the number x is between 12 and 15 is equal to 3 by 20 which is 0.15 similarly can I say that the number between 22 and 25 the distance is again 3 over here so that area again over here will be 3 by 20 or 0.15 right so the probability that the area between 22 and 25 will also be 3 by 20 so here I cannot say that the probability of occurrence between 12 and 15 is less than that of 22 and 25 I will be again wrong if I say this proposition so C will also be a wrong option okay now let's see the option D they are saying that the probability of occurrence between 15 and 21 is more than 22 and 28 now if you are not aware okay, of this you will see that okay 20 is coming more and you will say okay 20 is within this 21 so definitely it will have more probability but we have seen that it is but just by random chance you are getting that this number 20 is occurring more in reality it may not be so again if you want to find out whether the probability is same or not find out the difference between this 21 and 15 21 and 15 the difference comes as 6 so the probability will be 6 into the width which will be 6 by 20 so the probability of this is 6 by 20 and compute the probability of this this will also be 28 minus 22 which will be 6 so the probability will also be 6 by 20 so this and this probability is same so I cannot say that this is more so this is also wrong okay so the step the fifth part is equal to so if you see that the probability of occurrence of 15 and 21 and 20 and 20, 22 and 28 they have given equal to and that is what we have observed over here so we will say that yes E is correct right so this is how you should attack uh, this kind of problem uh, many of you like will be able to e directly get this see when I am computing the area 15 and 20 so you know that 3 Okay, so out of 20 you have 3 so it is 3 by 20 no need to compute this width and all this is just to explain that how you can find out this value okay I hope this uh, video would have given you an idea as to how to solve this type of problem this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity